In this code, we use the auto keyword to deduce the various literals and then print out the deduce types. Go ahead and think about what each of these items will evaluate to and I'll explain the result in a moment. Okay, now that I've given you some time to think about this, let's run this and go through each one. So for the first one, we assign auto a equal to one, which deduces to int because one is a plain integer literal. Next, auto b equal to one u becomes unsigned int since the u suffix indicates an unsigned literal. Then auto c equal to one l deduces to long as the l suffix forces a long integer type. For floating point numbers, auto d equal to 1.0 evaluates to double because floating point literals default to, default to double in C++. But auto e equal to 1.0 f becomes float thanks to this f suffix. With characters, however, auto f equal to a with single quotations is deduced as char. But auto g equal to a with uh, double quotations is deduced as constant char pointer because string literals in C++ decay into pointers to constant character arrays. In other words, G doesn't store the whole string, it simply points to the memory where the string literal lives. The takeaway here is the auto keyword deduces types based on the literal and, and any suffixes. Understanding these rules is key to avoiding surprises, especially when working with numeric types or string literals.